Thank you very much to BetterHelp and Shopify for sponsoring this video. More on them after the reaction. Citizens of the Reject Nation, it is I, Andrew, and we are here to do a very famous film known as Elvis. It's like he was right here in the room with you. Yeah, Andrew. you thought you were with Austin Butler, oh, right? That's, yeah. That's, and speaking yeah. of famous, I'm with my brother from another mother, Giannizio. Look out, man! I almost cut you in half. That's from my favorite Elvis movie. Is that with uh, Kurt Russell? Nope. Uh, I thought Kurt Russell was always a good Elvis. Anyways, we are here, as mentioned, to do Elvis the Buzz Larman one. Let us know in the comments section what do you think of this film, and also we need you to do those YouTube things, hit the subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and hit that like button so you can let us know that you are enjoying what you are watching. Also, special thanks to Prepper. They do such a wonderful job of editing down all these highlights, especially me, because you know I like to ramble on doing all those references, and also full-length reactions watch along where you sync up with your own copy it's where you join us on patreon it's where we call you super sexy you get to enjoy the full watch along with john myself you get to watch the whole movie, movie of elvis, elvis with, with us with also uh, john and greg have so many other exclusive tv shows films that they watch over there and you get to get all the special references everything that i watch along on here that you're gonna miss that are edited out so that's where you really you know are gonna miss out if you don't join us on there but without further ado elvis <laughs> Any final thoughts, John, before we get started? No, no, man, you're you're just a hound dog over here, Andrew. Let's let's roll the thing. Let's go to Heartbreak Hotel. Jim, let's I have a blue Christmas. I, I understood those references, John. <laughs> All righty, let's get into it. <laughs> Perfect look. <laughs> Wowie. It's a Baz Luhrmann joint, baby. Yeah, it's gonna say, "Truth, beauty, freedom, love." Wow. Oh my. When it's got vibrant colors and it feels weird, you know it's Baz Luhrmann. <laughs> Colonel Tom Parker, Snowmen League of America. Is this is a secret Christmas movie. For those of you who are wondering who this fella here is, <laughs> I am the legendary Colonel Tom Parker. That's right. This has the the Tom Hanks performance of a career lifetime. Yeah, right. Legendary manager of Elvis Presley has been rushed to Valley Hospital. Uh, oh my God. I am the man who gave the world Elvis Presley. Okay. Thank you, Colonel Parker. All because of you. Yeah. Oh, 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 damn. There are some who'd make me out to be the villain of this here story. I mean, some people have said that you're the villain of this movie. <laughs> I'm very curious to see what this performance is. Okay. Uh, Fully going. Trippy. Where no man's gone before. We can't go together. Okay. A cheat. A con man. A shocking Whoa. new book accuses Colonel Tom Parker. I think there's our answer. <laughs> Oh my God! Parker received as much as fifty percent. Damn! Of Woo! Many believe that Colonel Tom Parker was Say. responsible for the death of Elvis Presley. No! Now you listen to me. The only thing that matters is that that man gets up on that stage tonight. It's all about the profit. I don't care about the man. No. <laughs> yeah, the show must go on. Relax, just a little pinprick. That'll get you going for the show. I just realized Elvis met Forrest Gump. He did. Oh my God! I wonder it if they'll all cover makes that sense. moment. <laughs> Are these all post zooms? Whoa! <laughs> hey, uh, that's cool. <laughs> bruh, bruh. It's called karate, man. I'm only two kinds of people know it. The Chinese and the king. One of them is me. Ooh. Wowie. That's sweat boy. Marching on. Parker. 
going to get whiplash from this movie. Yeah. Is it still Christmas? Did the spirits do it all in one night? I could change. No. I didn't kill him. I just took all his money and forced him to go out there when he was messed up. Nothing all those muckrakers said in their Whoa. books was true. Me and Elvis, we was partners. Sure. Elvis, the showman, and the colonel, the snowman. Bars. I always knew I was destined for greatness. As an orphan, I ran away to the carnival, where I learned the art of the snow job. The snow job? Of emptying a rube's wallet while leaving them with nothing but a smile on their face. <laughs> and a unique trick that gave the audience feelings they weren't sure they should enjoy. Ooh. Titillating them. I knew if I could find such an act, I could create the greatest show on Earth. This is the greatest show! After the carnival, I moved into the music business. The country music business. It's a good contrast, carnivals to music. I like it. Sure. Can't have carnival without music. It's true. If I'm sentimental. Oh, I know yeah, that actor. What is that dude's name? Uh, David. David Wenham. something. It's David Wenham, isn't yes, it? It's, yes. it's, it's freaking yes. Faramir. Yes, Faramir. Sun Records, boy. Classic. Tell the mayors of these towns that we need a police escort for Hank when he arrives. For Hank. To have a carny wedding at the top of the Ferris wheel. At the top of the Ooh. Ferris wheel? That's interesting. And for you, as I, Lizito presents, you are going to march in a parade. Bizarre. Absolutely. Everybody's got their part. Man on an elephant looks important, taller. <laughs> Still need to get a novelty act to bring in the young folk. Why, you have a meeting with the Duke of Paducah tonight. If we can book the funniest mouth in the South, we'll have the greatest show hey, in the season. Turn. Let's go. Y'all have to hear this. Kids all over town are playing it everywhere I go. Uh, what? You just say what now? I need to meet this man. I hear Negro rhythms, but with a country flavor. Oh, cultures colliding and appropriating. Makes all those race records with the colored singers. This fella's on the hayride tonight, after me and the newcomer spot. See, I thought Tom Hanks was going to hear, do, doing that thing you ah, do. the Oneaters. Yes. Oh, yeah, he directed that movie, too. They are not putting a colored boy oh. on the hayride. That's a thing. He's white. Oh. Shall we play for the 27th time? There's no way that boy could be white. <laughs> He's popular. Oh, my God. The way it's filmed and edited, what? it's very trippy and acidy. He's white. That shot. What are you talking about, Andrew? This is uh, the slowest movie I've seen in It's not a years. Buzz Lerman film. <laughs> Oh. The dressing room. <laughs> hey. Damn, and the blue moon boys. Here. It'll settle your stomach. What if I forget the words on live radio? All we gotta do out there is just a bit of clowning around. That's right. Just make them up. Scotty and Bill are right here. Listen, you're not out there on your own. You boys are a band. Teamwork makes the dream work. And family. Is the most important thing of all. Amen. Oh, all now, it's about boo. family. Jesse's shining bright tonight. Uh oh. Did the wrong kid die? Jesse, Elvis's twin brother, who died at birth. Oh. Uh oh. When he was halved in the womb by a machete. My darling, you'll have the strength of two men. The Ten Grinches plus two. My boy's daddy passed a bad check and got cutted off to prison. Boy and his mama had to take one of the houses for white folks in a colored neighborhood. Really? That boy had a big imagination. Uh, he really prison. believed he was the hero. In one he of was going to become the Flash. Oh, I was going to say the Flash. I was thinking the Flash too. <laughs> well, you know, his dad's in jail. He's got the little lightning bolt. And fly him to the rock of eternity. Like how it said rock. <laughs> The Rock of Eternity, haha. -ha. Oh, oh. Grab those moves. Them comic book heroes all have them superpowers. His was music. Ooh. Let's go. I love it. Ah. 
a guitar too. Damn. <laughs> Your whole world is being expanded in this moment. Oh, from the dance hall to the steeple. <laughs> Oh my god. I wish church was like this growing up. <laughs> it's very somber church experiences. <laughs> Ooh, my god. Who's on the drums? <laughs> Elvis Presley needs to think about his entire life yes. before he plays. He's in the zone, man. This is, it's funny, this is still like a kinetic montage, but this feels like the most breathing the movie has done so far. <laughs> Elvis, come on, you gotta get on in. They've already announced you on the radio. Folks are real excited. Oh, good, yes. At Sun Records, Sam Phillips was on a mission to save the world by recording black music, but it didn't sell. So to pay his bills, he needed to find a new singer for his country act. That's messed up. I don't know what it is you see in this boy. Whiteness mostly. Different. Ooh. How do you know Big Boy Crudup? Big Boy Crudup. That's all right, mama. That's all right with you. That's all right, mama. Any way you do, that's all right. Woo hoo 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 hoo. So he really is like. Like rock and roll Eminem. Just grew up in a black area, learned black culture. That's, that's the perfect Got as close to the black experience as you could be without being black. Or at least that's what this is telling. I, I am ignorant to the actual history, so I'm going to take all this as gospel truth. Ooh, feel the spirit, my boy. It's fine how you sit. Greasy hair, girly makeup. Oh. I cannot overstate how strange he looked. This is the guy with the long nose saying this. It's the first metrosexual in history. Well, I like to say I have to run up and down here. It's a real honor for us to get a chance to appear on the Louisiana Hayride. We're going to do a song for you. We got out on Sun Records. You got anything else to say, sir? No. I'm ready. <laughs> Kick it! Oh, baby, 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 I understood that reference, Andrew. You may have pink Cadillac, but don't you pick nobody's room now, baby. Come back. Yeah, baby. let's go. Well, listen in the you, baby. What I'm talking about. Woo. Come back to me, little girl, so we can play some Oh, them hips. Get them hip shots. <laughs> this is going to be a very wiggly reaction, I can tell. What are they hollering at? The wiggle. Them girls won't see you wiggle. Move, man. Do more. <laughs> don't even worry about the guitar, man. Just wiggle it out. I don't want you to know. Oh! Sit down! This is devil music! Whoa! We doing the hard rock remix right now? That <laughs> guy's loving this. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, all the guys are getting jealous. <laughs> <laughs> what were you thinking, Jimmy? What were you thinking, Jimmy? He's making us look bad. Is that freaking Nightcrawler? Cody Smith McVee Nightcrawler? Oh. Not Alan Cumming Nightcrawler. Now, I don't know nothing about music, but I could see that girl's eyes. 
Wow. If she was having feelings, she wasn't sure <laughs> she could enjoy. <laughs> How did you get cast as feelings, girl? What was your audition like? She could have eaten him alive. Get him. Rush the stage. Oh my god! We got his jacket! Wowie! A star is born! It was the greatest carnival attraction I'd ever seen. He was my destiny. Right under my nose. Oh. In Memphis. Under my prosthetic nose. Ooh. From Beale Street to Oblivion. I gotta, I gotta go to Memphis sometime. Along with Taylor Mays and Hand Me Down. And there's a lot going on down on Bill Street tonight. Nowhere more so than at Club Handy. Come around if you want to see Big Mama Thornton. Oh, look out. Big Mama Thornton. You ain't oh. nothing but a hound dog. Yeah. Moved around my nose. Yeah. You ain't nothing but a Louderdale Courts. Just. Why a truck driver from Memphis, Tennessee liked to hang out on Beale Street, I do not know. Yeah, you could figure it out. Hey, squirrel. Nice shoe. Leave the man alone. He's the king! You ain't no real cool cat. Hey, Elvis. Go. Ha, Whoa. the good old days where you could leave windows down and doors unlocked. Yeah. That's that boy whose record everybody's talking about. Trap Elvis. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. There's more sass in the story to everybody. Had your ass in court, sass with your mind. Fascinating mix of sounds. Yeah. Although, I, I dig it. I know people go back and forth on Baz, you know, anachronistically crashing songs together, but... He was crazy for that Beale Street music. <laughs> Goose Tatum. I didn't take my boy away from nothing. He was running from the day he was born. Sure. He was born to run. You quit your job to go traveling all the way to Florida with this colonel fellow this that is... we have never met. Yeah. <laughs> He's got an entourage that follows him. I knew a fellow once. Got his record on the radio. It was all over in a flash. I can't... Is that Richard Roxburgh? I can't I believe he played Dracula in Van Helsing. I ain't ever gonna let us get back to a place again when Daddy gets in trouble with the law to put food on the table. Do not wear yourself out to get rich. Do not trust your own goddamn cleverness. Yeah. I use, use your Lord's for name rich in vain. Camel to fit the eye of a needle. A rich man into heaven. You know, Mama, I was thinking, maybe I'll buy you one of them pink Cadillacs like you saw back when you was working at the hospital. I don't need no pink Cadillac. I need a white one. <laughs> sure. I'm not fearful of it being over booby. I don't know how to explain it. Booby Hill. But I saw it in that girl's eyes. It's something beyond us, but I know that whatever it is, it's something It's something that can come between us. Uh, oh, sure. Not my little baby no more. Then nothing ever got me back. You're my girl. You'll always be my bestest girl. Yeah, I understand what she's saying, especially when you watch like movies like Rockstar with Mark Wahlberg and other things when you see what happens to people. In the oh, I yeah. Get, I totally get where she's coming from. She's watched Rockstar a hundred oh, yeah, times. Definitely. And almost famous. It's like I saw she what knows happened. how this goes. I actually have never seen that one. Nothing but nothing is gonna come between us. <laughs> nothing is gonna come between us except all this right now. <laughs> oh my god. His casino morphine mind palace is a fascinating motif. Woo! There we go. All-Star Jamboree! Our next four nights are sold out. Thanks to the dazzling performances of our tremendous showman, Hank Snow. Hank. Thank you, Hank. Uh, got, got the crowd in an uproar. Poor Hank. Uh, rock and roll music is ruining our carnival! Ah, uh, he's catching up. Well, I told you all about him. He wants to record one of your songs. Oh, which one? All of them. Nah. None of those lewd gyrations, sudden jerky movements. Uh, uh, yeah, about that. <laughs> what? 
Eesh. Oh no. I'll tell you this new sensation, Elvis Presley. He is breaking hearts all over the set. Oh. Oh. Hello there. No. What would Mama think? Ah. Wow. I'm gonna become a man today. <laughs> that editing is so interesting. Well, and it must be like really, really mapped out. Why don't you try one of these? Oh no. Ah, what is it? Peels, uppers and downers. They're the logical next step for you. Is it a quaalude? Woohoo! Yeah, 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 yeah. You can get really tough down, man. I promise. I, I put my heart in. I, I want to be just like you. Yeah. <laughs> Women want him and men want to be him. That's I want to be him. Ugh. I've prepped before. I shall spend the night in prayer. Yes. <laughs> yes. And I will do what needs to be done. Yeah, I'm sure. He gonna <laughs> kick you right off this tour, dude. Jimmy. Ah, oh, Jimmy, your soul. Sell your soul to rock and roll, Jimmy. That night I happened to see him alone. This Superman curl. A snowman is only as good as his attraction. Come on, man. Come on, hurry up. Oh, no. No. Your chance. Oh, goody. Goody. My favorite visual metaphor. Uh, fame and fortune, it's all a hall of mirrors. From Ferguson. Uh. You look lost. I guess I am. The roar of the crowd, the life on the road, and then calling home to your loved ones, pretending nothing has changed when everything has. Yeah, right. I mean, I don't know the way out. Yeah, that is precisely what I am saying. Let's get an action scene going now. I saw you, apart from all the others, burdened. With glorious purpose. I was literally I just don't know thinking how to that. get out of this, but I do. Allow oh, me to show. he's got the cheat codes to the Hall of Mirrors. Your future, Mr. Presley, blazing before you. Damn. Your contracts, television, even Hollywood. Now you're talking my language. You're great, Colonel. You are the best person I could ever uh, work with. You know, this is something I, I ain't never said to nobody uh, before. I believe I can be great too. Whoa, whoa. Pride goes before the fall. But to achieve this, I need to represent you exclusively. Don't. What about Hank Snow? Oh, damn. He sent me here to fire you. Wow, he doesn't mean I am your exclusive representation. He means I only want to rep you. So I will have to leave Hank. Wow. We will both have to make sacrifices. And I we will need a record label with national distribution. RCA. RCA. RCA does have the distribution. I just need to know that you'll still be with me as friends. Don't doubt that. We're not going anywhere. Marion and I just don't want to stand in your way. That's all. The world needs Aww. to hear you sing, Elvis. How huge you can make this little label, though. Yeah. And they had his, like, best interest at heart, too. Uh. Mm. You sure. have to be free of any entanglements. Uh-oh. You gotta stop seeing Jada Pinkett Smith. Is snow business, and the fans need to believe that you are always available. Oh, ain't that the truth? You might have to put it out, is it? That I don't have a girl. <laughs> no. <laughs> no! We will need your parents' legal commitment. They need a bit of convincing themselves. Sam Phillips is a good man we can trust. We don't know this current from a nail in a wall. Trust yeah. those instincts. I have taken the liberty of making these contacts out in the name of Elvis Presley Enterprises. A family business. Jeez. Vernon Presley, business manager. Oh, man. Oh, man. What do you think, Daddy? Oh, well. Uh, Talk to a lawyer. <laughs> Frodo showbiz family. To make sure my mama and daddy never have to live in no poverty ever again. Mama. Oh. It's gonna turn out so, so good. Oh man. Oh man. 
girl. Careful. I wasn't fooling when I told those other kids I was gonna buy them a Cadillac one day. My boy, with me, you will buy them two Cadillacs. It's always two with you. With me, I, I've always wanted to fly fast. Mm. Faster than the speed of light to the rock of eternity. Yes. Captain Marvel Jr., my favorite comic book hero. My man. Are you ready to fly? <laughs> Whoa. This is a fascinating conversation, but how long has the Ferris wheel been standing still? Thank as I said. Yeah. <laughs> He knows the the carny operating it. You know he paid him for that exact amount of time. Well, since my baby left me. Oh. Well, I found a new place to dwell. Ooh. The hips. Heartbreak hotel. Heartbreak hotel. Heartbreak hotel. It's like he's here in the room. Yeah. That first record changed yeah. everything. Well, that's the house for Scumpson, right? That's right. His mom is there too. And then they're gonna sign up Gump, Gump Family Enterprises. It's another gold record for Elvis Presley. This one giving him his first <laughs> worldwide hit. He Damn. was a truck driver. Damn. It's the rags to riches story. Sure. I took my boy's wiggling and put it in the movie. <laughs> sure did. I have not seen any of his movies. That's the next React series. Yeah. Your face on every conceivable object, including... Wow. Master busts. All questionable likeness. Oh. He has a uh, game. What, what is the rules? How do you play? Grandma told you, what is that behind your ear? Uh, I hate Elvis. The greatest showman. Yeah. Oh. I hate Elvis. In my way of thinking, I love Elvis. That's an easy sell. Those who hate your son will do so, whether we profit from it or not. Uh, it's not a bad idea. Wow. What is hate worth if it's free? <laughs> I'm going to remember that. Mr. Lansky, it's Milton Burrow. The whole of America will be watching. Absolutely. So what is it going to be? How are you going to blow their wigs off? The network wants me to do a balance. Nah. I'm thinking about cutting it up a hound dog. Woo! Yeah. Elvis Presley, hound dog, and Uncle Milty. Strange things are happening every day. You ain't nothing but a hound dog, hound dog. Oh, there you go. Austin Butler. Like, oh, that's he's, far. Oh, he's really nailing the I get performance. the hype. Oh, yeah. And he was nominated, right, for this? Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. He, he, I think he won awards for this. Well deserved. He's he's really good. Tomorrow, all of America will be talking about Elvis Presley. They should be talking about Colonel Parker. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh boy. Whew. Oh, you awakening that boy right there in the sweater vest. Who the hell is that? It's that boy from Memphis. It's your destiny. What boy from Memphis? Moving like a goddamn. Don't say it. Of course. Get the smut off the airwaves. Pelvis. What is that headline about his pelvis? <laughs> it's obviously a means by which the white man and his children can be driven to the level of the Negro. Oh my God, dude. A petition has begun circulating to bar Elvis Presley from television. <laughs> we wow. set up a committee to keep an eye on this folk, <laughs> animalistic, Yes. The of gyrating while you sing has been bitterly criticized. I don't feel I'm doing anything wrong. Is that an actual shot of Elvis there? Colonel, you put an end to your boy's animal behavior, or we will. Ouch. Don't worry, Senator, my boy does what he's told. Oh, cancel Elvis the pelvis. See, cancel culture. It's existed for yes, more than 50 years. Seriously. Mr. Allen going to cancel me from the show. He is replacing you with one of the country's greatest singers. Mara Lanza. Someone great. Oh. The new Elvis Presley. Ah. <laughs> Just have to put on one of these tails here and sing the hand dog. And it's a light-hearted, sophisticated family show. Oh, no. As long as there is no wiggling of those hips. Can't figure it out. My own mother approves of what I do. Hmm. Your mom's woke. You want to do a show the whole family can watch and enjoy, and we always do. And at this time, it gives me extreme pleasure to introduce the new Elvis Presley. The new and improved. Oh. Updated recipe.
He looks like Austin Butler. Yeah. He could have given us some more. I, I know how to do a skit. I could have made it funny. The most oh, no. Embarrassing, humiliating thing I ever did. <laughs> what the hell do you want me to do about it? What musician? Wow. So did he perform it to the dog? We want the old Elvis. Oh, my God. How far are we into his career exactly? How, how old of an Elvis could there be? Someone's got to think about keeping a roof over our heads. We've always managed to keep a roof over our head, Vernon. Mama, well, Daddy is business manager. It's his job. That's right. Uh, Mama knows business, too. Colonel has got us all of this. I don't want all this. You're unhappy. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> You're losing yourself, baby. In the music, the moment. The way you sing and move, it's God-given. So there can't Truth. be nothing wrong with it. And I mean, you also got it from black musicians and dancers and, and other people too, but, but God as well. You ain't never happy. No matter what I do, no matter how much I give you, it ain't never enough. And I wish you would not drink so goddamn much. It's not good for you. Oh my. Oh damn. Taking matters into my own hands. No, I can't escape myself. Can't escape the image of me. Tonight at Club Handy with Sister Rosetta Thorne. Oh, here we go. He gotta go back to his roots. Damn. Huh? He's signing autographs for everybody. If you're happy and you want to be happy, guess what? You're at the right place. So just do me a favor. Just Let be you. Let it all you. hang out, E.P. Let it all hang out, baby. <laughs> yeah. Let it all bleed out. You about to pick up some moves from little Richard? Oh, no. What are these guys going to do? They should get the colonel to book him on Steve Allen. Yeah, right? <laughs> I love his moves. Best believe. If you do, you make a whole lot more money than that kid could ever dream of. <laughs> That's the way the system works. Maybe do it like as a duet and record it so that you could both be at the top of the chart or, so, or like something. That idea. Do a feature. You should have your own label like me. Yeah. You don't do the business, the business will do you. Show sure enough. I think I'll just leave all that to the colonel. Uh, yeah, that's part of the problem. Cats buy your records because they like what you do, not because you're dressed up like some butler. No, they like the Colonel, like Austin Butler. You gotta lay off the movie. Colonel says if I don't, they're gonna put me in jail. That whoa, is whoa. ridiculous. What's the charge for busting a move? In <laughs> indecency, I guess. Too many people are making too much money off of you to put you in jail. <laughs> they don't yeah. know what you put him in jail for. You got too much privilege. Colonel's a smart man. There's gotta be another reason. Yeah, what do we got? We found your records. Unfit for military duty. Damn. I was pretending to be crazy. I wanted out. I was just a boy from Huntington, West Virginia. Of course. We found no record of you at all. Who are you from, man? But hey, he's not a racist that we know of, so there's that. Property of the Vice Squad. Oh my god. That is the irony. Whites only at a show that is derived so heavily from black music. <laughs> Fans were cramming in to see our show. Senator Eastland was holding a segregationist rally just three miles away. Oh, them Union Jacks. What uh, song are you going to sing tonight? I made no decision. Oh, look out. Go with the feeling in the moment. There's been a lot of talk about the new Elvis. <laughs> new Coke sucks. Of course, that other guy. Uh, <laughs> that's a message to you directly. There's a lot of people saying a lot of things. Of course, you got to listen to the people that you love. But in the end, you got to listen to yourself. So I want you to know those New York people ain't going to change me none. Yes, sir. To accept it. <laughs> yes. Oh, no. You came to the right place. Yes, you did. I was born standing up. Yeah. Talking back. Oh. Oh, 
Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I've never heard this song. But if you gonna start a yeah, no, the hips. The hips. Oh, yeah. Are these based on real photographs? At least the ones with him in them. Ooh. So don't you mess around with, with me. Ah. Get that fill. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yes, yes. Start clubbing people. That's right. He didn't listen to me. Why? Why didn't he listen to me? Tell him to be something he's not. Yeah, his heart said not to. Yes. With what? Throw him in the brig. With what? Devil music. Crimes of lust and perversion. Yeah, all that dancing. Oh my goodness. I feel like that look was of disowning. Sure. I feel like that looks of embracement. <laughs> Oh, man. The fuzz is mad. He had no idea what he had done to both of us. Why didn't he choose me? I had to find a way out. A way to save him. Ooh, from the president. There's no way my baby is going to Germany for two years. Is either the wow. Ugh. Wow. In my way of thinking, the army could be a brand new start for all of us. Let them cut your hair. Prove to the world that you are a clean cut, all American boy. Uh. Chappie likes to paint. Since the day he was born, she had feared losing her second son. She'd be hitting the bottle. She worried and drank, worried and drank. <sighs> oh boy. Oof. Oh. What? Oh my god. While he was away? That sucks. There are some fine folks from the press waiting outside. Oh good. Your daddy is doing the best he knows how, but he is overwhelmed. You need your help. Yes. <laughs> I can't go out there. I just want to stay here forever. <laughs> Talk about overwhelmed, man. Jeez. From this moment on, anything she would have done, I will carry out in her name. Sure. Comfort your friends and your family, and even your friends. Hmm? Because if you don't do that, all that your mama has sacrificed for you will be for nothing. It'll be all your fault, Dewey. Ouch. Himself. It's a tragic transition. My plan, Elvis Presley would return a clean cut all American boy. Oh, but oh, yeah, here we go. I did not consider the most dangerous thing of all. <laughs> what? what? Love. Could that, oh, of course. Priscilla, the pretty teenage daughter of oh. the United States Air Force officer. Oh, goody. Of legal consenting age, I'm certain. This guy, he's got, he's got girls all over the world, okay? He's got girls waiting outside of his house. The girls writing him endless fan mail. <laughs> Listen, okay? He's just really lonely. And quite frankly, so am I. Oh. And then they didn't really know what to say after that, so I went upstairs and I went to bed. Mic drop. Never met anyone like you. This is... Well, I hope not. <laughs> James Dean. God, I just hope that one day be as good as him. You'll get there. You will be the James Dean of Beach Blanket Bingo movies. I was going to say, hashtag Austin Butler for James Dean. Colonel's promised me that when I get back, he's going to set me up in Hollywood to be a serious actor. Really what I dream of. Is that true? Oh. And that perfectly framed flair. You no longer want to sing in your films, is that right? You want to be a dramatic actor. Oh, cool. That's my big ambition now. It takes a lot of time. Lot of no songs in any of my films. He Very was cool. As good as Brando. Who? His life became one big Hollywood movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure. 
Wow. <laughs> Cousin Billy. Las, Las Vegas. Vegas. Viva Viagra. And introducing baby Lisa Marie. Oh, Lisa Marie. The highest paid actor in Hollywood history. Damn. We had a lot of fun. Sure we did. Sweeps America as oh no. Oh no, you're getting overtaken by other current events. Dr. Martin Luther King, the apostle of nonviolence in the civil rights movement, oh. has been shot to death in Memphis. Yeah. Oh shit. We've seen Elvis the Rebel. We've seen Elvis the movie star. Now we will see Elvis the family entertainer. It's all about adaptation. Oh good. Adapting to times. Can I watch the memorial? Might be getting ready a little early this year. This Tom Parker's is always about Christmas. Yeah. So tired of playing Elvis Presley. Too many people are lying. I love you. I thought it was. I love you too, my child bride. I hate you, Jackson. Oh, boy. That's the music that makes me happy. Mm. Go forth, son. I mean, you got to meet these Bender and Bones guys, E.B. They're the ones that put James Brown, the Rolling Stones on stage. They're doing some cutting-edge stuff. Whoa. When I first came to Hollywood, I'd come up here and sit for hours. Right over there, the observatory. That's where they shot Rebel Without a Cause. It's actually right. there a little a couple months ago. I really like what you guys did, putting James Brown and the Stones together. We're uh, big fans of yours, too. Mr. Presley, we, we don't oh, usually Elvis. Elvis. Uh, Call me E Dog. Call me E P. Tell me honestly, what do you boys think my career is at right now? Yeah. Uh oh. Honestly? It's in the toilet. <laughs> I knew you were the right guys for this job. Sure. Back when I was starting out, some people wanted to put me in jail, even kill me, because the way I was moving. <sighs> I killed my mother. Uh, Perhaps since then. You've been wayward. I need you fellas to help me get back to who I really am. Who are you, Elvis? The friggin' king. Well, sure as hell ain't somebody who sings Christmas songs by a fireplace for an hour. Ugh. And what does the colonel think? I don't give a damn what the colonel thinks. Yeah. Oh, finally. Free, huh? Number one, hotshot director. Elvis will be humoring him by doing a few of his fresh ideas. Ah, the sweater. To Mr. Presley's dressing room, please. Oh, yeah. I love a good Christmas song, but yeah, I just don't see Elvis doing that. <laughs> if you want to find yourself. First thing you do is go home. Metaphorically, you know, get back to who you really are. Remember who you are. We get your old band back together. But we are going to start with Here Comes Santa Claus. I almost thought that was Zach Efron for a sec. I know it's not. Here's Elvis Presley. Oh boy. All black everything. We're going to have to send him back to the army again. Another couple years. Send him to the army in the sweater. Oh, that red guitar on that black outfit. Lonely and the lonely street. At Heartbreak Hotel where I'll be. I gotta brush up my Elvis voice. I played the Pharaoh and Joseph in high school. All right. Next karaoke night, we're doing Elvis. Yes. Ooh. Oh, my baby. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't no friend of mine. It's time for Here Comes Santa Claus. I said so. No. Right. No. First position. Oh, my God. Let's rock. Oh. He's getting the women back on his side. That's That's right. I feel like they would do just about it. If he wanted to galvanize them into a militia, he could. <laughs> Music that I love. Yeah. Those know what old hippies had brainwashed Elvis. Of course they did. Yeah. They definitely, you did not brainwash him. No. 
Wow, those moves. None of this will be in this special. Can you make a note that that should be in this special? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. We've usurped your authority. Go. They're going to get in like a fist fight. Oh no. my god, what? Now bring in the Kung Fu Spectacular. Yes! Kung Fu. What is happening? This is real. We got to track this special down. Yes! Wow. Whoa. What? Oh, is that an Whoa. L.A. hotel? Yeah. I think in the kitchen of an o L.A. hotel, if I remember Yes, correctly. I know the name. Damn. Is it the Ambassador? Is it the Ambassador Hotel? Uh, maybe? We're ready on set. Yeah. But this nation is hurting. It's lost, you know? It, it needs a voice right now to help it heal. You have to make a statement, E.B. Oh, boy. Mr. Prestige, it's not make statements. Oh, uh, here we go. Poor Mrs. Kennedy. Tragedy. But it has nothing to do with us. It has everything to do with us. Sure. We're all Americans. I do not think we should be making speeches about politics and religion. Dr. King was shot eight miles from Graceland while I was out here singing to turtles. <laughs> and all you can think about is how many goddamn sweaters I can sell. I am a promoter. That is what I do. And I'm Elvis Presley. <laughs> That's what I do. Ooh, oh, boy. Colonel, I know when I've excited an audience. That was not a real audience, my boy. There was a sign flashing applaud, telling them when to clap for you. Oh, no. Listen to the guy who f had the movies flop for you the last few. Now I have convinced our friends at Singer Sewing Machines to come back tomorrow for Here Comes Santa Claus. Oh. Dr. King said rock and roll music contributed to juvenile delinquency. Uh, plenty of others will say the same about hip-hop a couple decades later. We're pretty set for the number tomorrow, right? It's pretty familiar territory. <laughs> Reverend once told me that things are too dangerous to say, sing. Oh, yes, sir. Solid advice. It's the language of the angels song. Working on a new song. He says you're singing a new song. Well, oh, hey, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Yes. Oh, my goodness. You and I are on the same page at last. Bring yep. The lights on the sign. Yep, definitely, it's sir. Like, you have no idea. That dang sweater ain't never going to make it in here, is it? Wow. Going to be a winter wonderland, John. Whoa. That's true. Sure. I have definitely seen this image. Big red Elvis text, the white suit. Yes, ma'am. Right Damn. Yes, he is back. Elvis sings a protest song. That's how you speak to the nation. I always said when it came to music, my boy knows best. But the special was my idea. What? 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 We was back on top, but some people were putting ideas into his head that mm -hmm. he didn't need me. He's <laughs> taking credit for the special. I love that. I love that for you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You do a week of shows in just one night, and then when it's done, Get on the plane. Go where you want. Play where you want. We hope you enjoy this flight. Don't forget to put your seatbelts on. You know, I heard last year alone you had two offers. Germany and Japan for a million bucks. Damn. Jeez, you Christie. We need to strike up a deal with an airline. Yeah. Real rejects airline. There we go. Do live reactions on the plane. Yes. Everyone watch the same movie this flight. Yes. Mr. Cohn would like to. Oh no. Colonel Bucket, hit me. What rank are you, man? Elvis called you Admiral like 10 minutes ago. I know you're not even actually like in the military, I guess, but. We hear your boys working with new people. You've lost your mail ticket. Duh. No passport, no residency. <sighs> you were never a colonel. 
Never a tom. Uh, oh. You even a park. You weren't even a Hanks. You know what he's like. The second that you're near him, you'll be under ten feet of snow before you know what's happening. Uh, yes. I'm gonna go see him in Vegas. I'm gonna look him in the eyes. I'm gonna tell him. Are we gambling? Yeah. Not for money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But for your life. I don't know, man. Are you? Uh, he's smoking a cigar as he's in the hospital. <laughs> That's a prescription cigar. Yeah, it's over the counter. Yeah. Oh, my boy, I should have come down to see you. But I'm a little laid up, you know. You just had a heart attack. You're not meant to get oh. out of bed. Right, let's work on emotional manipulation right now, Colonel. Absolutely. He's a pro. Nobody he's... can sell a show to an audience like you. I admit it. I was wrong. Sell snow to an audience. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We need to go our separate ways. Oh! Someday love will find you. He said it. Well, you may be right. Maybe it is time for me to retire. You hear the coins falling and, like, chains ringing in the background. These international tours are very, very expensive. Oh, boy. What are you doing, man? Yeah. Uh. We'll put a strain on your daddy. Oh, no. What if? The next Elvis Presley show did not cost you a red cent. Go on. If your daddy would not like the sound of that. A daddy's a boy. Brand new international hotel. Oh, we get in Vegas residency, Elvis. Mighty big stage. Biggest in Las Vegas. You get lost in a place like this. Sure. It's like, let me take you back to that mirror room. This international hotel needs a major drawing. To pull in all the rooms and put it on the map. Sure. So they will cover all of the costs mm. of putting together your show. Then you can, just play here for six weeks. We can and bleed then them dry. Oh boy. To tour around the world with no financial risk to Elvis Presley Enterprises. None. Oh my God. Mm. Snowman strikes again. Oh! <laughs> We're going to make it. Oh my god. Ah, I can't get rid of him. There was some magic in that old straw hat, they say. Flames, man. Flames are coming off of the guitar. I'll get back. <laughs> I'll get back. I'll get back to that. <laughs> yes, yes. All right, boys. On one, three, four. Oh, the power. Wow. Yes. Oh, Woo! it is time. Jesus Christ. That's all right, the mama. That's all right with you. That's all right, the mama. Just any way you do it, that's all right. Ooh. Any way you do it. Ooh. Yeah. Uh oh. Talk. Flashing back. Oh, yeah. Hey, God, that inlay, man, with his name in the pearl. Yeah. Or opal, whatever that is. Oh, wowie. Damn, nice, yeah, nice use of I split screens. That, yeah. yeah. I feel like this movie has, like, smoothed out as it goes along. Cause, with like, the editing and the, and the nonlinear storytelling, yeah. And the pacing, too. I've gotten much more used to it. I tell you. If I was you, I would book him for a hundred years. Yeah, I would book him for a hundred. Of course you would. But we hear Hewlett has him doing a world tour. Oh, those were the guys he owed the money to, right? I think Mr. Presley could be persuaded to make the international his home, provided he was paid pretty well. What did you have in mind? One billion dollars. We're caught in a trap. I can't walk out. Did they ink this contract on a tablecloth? That's how it appears. <laughs> a milli per year for five years. And we can't build our dreams on suspicious minds. Ooh. Would I still see suspicious It's a binding I... contract. I guess it is. That is what my boy would expect. What are you going to pay me? Ouch, dude. What are they going to pay you? Colonel, your sideshow is the jackpot. 
<laughs> Coming from a casino owner, that means a lot. Yeah, you knew that. Oh boy. Oh my god. Plus unlimited what now? Lines of credit. Line of credit. Oh no. no. Gambling. Oh no. I can't walk out because I love you too much. Woo. Yeah. Get them hips going, boy. Ooh. I can't walk out. Damn. Do whatever you want, Colonel. As long as that boy stays on that stage. <laughs> was that Baz? Was that a Baz director cameo? That guy in that booth? He was like on the left side of the screen, a couple girls next to him. Sure looked like him. Oh. Makeups on Hanks are pretty good. Like the the old age one in the wraparound is the most obvious, but oh oh that's bad. I saw in her face that night. She could never compete with the love he felt from you. Yeah. With you and 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 you. Damn, exerted a lot of energy. That's exhausting. Such a fan show. Now, are you prepared to do this every day for five years? Yeah. And how many shows a day is he going to do? Yeah, that, uh, I'm, that I'm curious about. You alone rose above it all. You could work with your talent and your dedication. <laughs> sure enough. Well, this, <laughs> we did. <laughs> yeah, you originally told him six weeks and you get to go around the world, not five years. Yeah. Him. I can't wait to show the world. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Fetch. Mr. Fetch Domino, ladies and gentlemen. Hey. Sure. Uh-oh. What are you looking at back there? Oh, he ain't gonna tell him till like it's... Lived a girl that I swear to the world Made the alligators look pink Ooh. Eesh. This is Elvis Presley. The most famous man on the planet. Straight razor. Yeah, buddy. Lord have mercy. Straight razor to whoa! <laughs> Deep throwing the mic there. Jeez. There is nothing more important than security. Damn, dog. Whoa, I'm gonna kill you. Whoa! Oh. I almost cut you in half! Only two kinds of people know Kung Fu. Chinese and the King. Those guys turned out to be some overexcited fans from Peru, but... Wow! Elvis Presley has apparently checked into a private suite suffering from exhaustion. Sure. This was a wild time. Like, people would be getting trampled at shows. Like, yeah. A lot more, I think. Oh, Sharon oh. Tate! Oh my god. Jeez. Threatening, killing popular entertainers. The IRA blowing up England. Planes exploding in midair. Has the world gone mad? It's a mad, 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 mad world. Little Lisa Marie's daddy will be safe while he's away from home. We're taking the show to the world, Colonel. Yeah. Oh, how's oh, this no. going to end? Oh, no. We could do an American tour, 15 cities in 15 days, while Mr. Hewlett straightens out his security problems overseas. Like that, we're in for exha exhaustion, 15 cities, 15 days. Yeah. Oh, not bad. That was good. 15 times. <laughs> oh, boy. How does he have the energy to do that every 15 nights in a row? Snow, Andrew, snow. I understood that reference. White powder snow. All in the safety of the U.S. of A. Ah, that tiger suit. I brought the world to him. I invented the world's first ever satellite concert. Really? 1.5 billion people in one night. Oh. Damn. Oh, my God. <laughs> I love that. That was good. That split screen. It was well choreographed. He was addicted 
to the love he felt from you on stage. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. So, in the lonely moments between shows. And Lisa Marie. He turned to them pills. Yeah. Dem pills, boy. You give my baby girl. Oh, okay. Ugh. Oh, uh, man. Oh, my God. What? He's got badges and shit in there? No one gonna walk around saying they can't live this place. What does he say? Nothing, baby. That is true, and the reality will be much more unfortunate than someone paranoid than, than being able to say that, I guess. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. I'm leaving you. And I'm taking Lisa with me. Yeah. Oh. I couldn't care less about whoever it is you sneak through the side door. This. Those leeches and wow. feed down your god throat it. like you're strung out. Strung out, god damn, I'm in the best shape of my life. Ugh. What I want is a husband. I am your wife. And Lisa is your daughter. She needs a father. I am her father. Oh. Do you remember the last time that the three of us sat down and had dinner together? Jesus. You won't even make love to me anymore. Aww. You're 40 and I'm 50. We'll get back together. No. Aww. Come on. Chris, they'll never leave. You have to let me go. Please. You have to let me go. You have to let me go. Yeah. Why won't the Colonel let him go overseas? Security, Jerry. You know that. Bullshit! That the Colonel's killing his greatest asset without a reason. So what is the reason? Colonel always has his reasons. He signed a napkin. Credit. <laughs> Debt assuagement. There wasn't going to be an international tour because he can't leave the country. He's got no citizenship, no official identity. He doesn't exist. There never was a Colonel Tom Parker. Damn. What are you talking about, Jerry? Oh, oh my uh, god. You listen to me. The only thing that matters is that that man gets up on that stage tonight. Yeah. Yeah. If he was my son, I'd put him in the hospital. Well, of course, this is a Presley Enterprises decision. Jeez, come dad. On. Come on, dad. Come step, dad. Up, step up for your son. Father first, manager second. What can you do for him, Dr. Nick? Hi, everybody. Just a little pinprick. That'll get you going for the show. Damn. And then he falls over again. Dude should be in the hospital right now. Now that you see me, I'd like to take a look at you. <laughs> Let me just want to take one last look at you. My so-called manager, Colonel Tom Parker. Uh. Oh, this is about to become a roast. But I hear rumors that Colonel is an alien. Uh. <laughs> Somebody call the FBI and tell them that he has abducted me. That he has locked me in this golden cage to keep me here forever. Yeah. Because Colonel's got some big debts, baby. Ooh. Yep. There's the truth. I'm going to get on my jet plane. It's named after my, uh, my beautiful daughter. Is he going to still be alive after this show? Who's it named after again? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to fly away. Oh, glory. I will fly away. Oh! Mr. Sherman, what the devil is happening here? Did they, they find his napkin? 800 shows. You don't have a goddamn passport, you son of a bitch. He's fired. Oh, oh my god. This must have happened. You fired. Is this what really went down? If the boy wants to set out on his own, it's all right by me. But Presley Enterprises sure. is going to cough up what it owes. Oh my god. Oh no. Ugh. Yes, all your expenses itemized and in order. What's the bill? How much? Well, that's what we owe. Oh, Ooh, buddy. 8.5 mil. 
You spend so much money, you know, you got the cars and the girls and the clothes and all the, you know, new airplane. Yeah. We're playing broke. Gotta take the Colonel back. I'm not taking him back. Oh, Colonel, you're rehired. Oh, God. We're gonna lose Graceland. Not your baby. Damn. Oh, boy. Oh, what a nightmare. He takes everything from me. He takes 50% of everything that I'll make. And now we want to take a hold that we bought from Obama. Oh, yeah. Listen to me, Dave. That old bastard can sue if he wants, but I am flying away. With or without you. With or without you. Uh -huh. You bled me dry and you still want more? I'm not an uncaring man, Mr. Presley. Don't you, Mr. Presley, me, you toad. Oh, you toad. You still have your claws on me. You still have me working here like a goddamn slave in a salt mine. You phony, oh. no good piece of trash. I'm gonna shoot you in your fat goddamn face. Damn. Everyone else you associate with lives from you. Even your own daddy has looked after himself before he's looked after you. Yeah. We have supported each other because we share the dream. Sharing a nightmare now. We are the same, you and I. We are two odd, lonely children. Wow. Reaching for eternity. Two odd, lonely children reaching for eternity. You lost it. Picture. Lonely at the top, boy. How far to fall. Waiting for that phone to ring. Yes. It's like, when are you coming back, man? Shall I come back again? Whew. Tell me, dear, are you lonesome tonight? I will, I will try. Be your dad? I will try. Fix it. Yeah, of course. Tell that song. I want things to go back to the way they were. Yeah. yeah. You kind of have no choice. Oh, and literally closing off from the outside world. Tell Carl. You send up Dr. Nick. Oh, he's going to oh. collapse. Jesus. Full resign. Whoa. It's a beautiful day in Las Vegas with lots going on this weekend. Those teen sensations. Huh, Jackson's huh. The Jackson 5? Hey. And it's interesting, too, because one of them married his That's daughter. That's true, yeah. The most famous of them. <laughs> Presley is in talk to play opposite Barbara Streisand in a remake of A Star is Born. Oh, snap, really? You called it earlier. Well, let me get one last look at you. Won't be much of a stretch for him to play the role of a washed-up singer. Yeah. Thank you for that. I bet you all feel real proud of yourself coming up with that, <laughs> that bar. <laughs> Oh, little one. I told you Richard Roxford was Dracula and Van Helsing. He was also in everyone's favorite Mission Impossible film, the second one. The best one. Objectively yeah. the best one. He yeah. was Sean Ambrose's uh, main henchman. Sure. Honey, there's this place. Rehab? San Diego, but you can go to rest. The San Diego Zoo. <laughs> SeaWorld. I won't be 40, son, so. 40. Oh. And nobody's going to remember. Mm. Never did anything lasting. You can rest easy on that one. I never made a classic film that I could be proud of. Maybe not that one. Please go for Lisa. Oh. If you're dreaming, do it, baby. Yeah, get your life together. I want to have a dream. Mm. Promise me. That's heavy. Great Scott. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. Oh. Damn. Is that the last time they're together? I am afraid it could be. I wonder if Priscilla Presley was a consultant on this film at all. The way this is edited and shot it, and that line seems to indicate it is the last time they're going <laughs> to be together. I will always love you. I forgot. Lisa Marie passed away, right? I think she did. My memory's bad. I know Priscilla's still alive, I think. Oh... <sighs> oh boy. Stock footage. Or with the, yeah, that like stock footage you look, the slow frame rate. Did you know there's a kind of bird that doesn't have any legs, so it can't land on nothing. Mm. 
Don't you know about the bird? Everybody's heard about the bird. He lives his whole life on the wing. When he gets tired, he spreads his wings and sleeps on the wind. Sure. If it ever does land, even but one time, that's when it dies. Damn. Elvis Presley. Yeah, 42. Wow. That's so young. He was found at his home in Memphis. President Not Carter has just made a statement. Elvis Presley's death deprived our country of a part of itself. He was unique and irreplaceable. Damn. It's so young. A lonely life ends. What you killed my boy? Them doctors big. say it was his heart. You had a big part in that. If this movie is accurate. <laughs> Some say it was me. Sure. No, no. I'll tell you what killed him. It was you, the audience. It was love. His love for you. Yeah. Guy has no accountability for his actions. A few weeks before he died, I saw him sing for the very last time. He could barely stand up. But that night, he sang. As he always did, with all his heart and soul. How you like it so far? Oh, man. Oh, he does yeah. not look good. Coca-Cola Elvis. Oh, man. Hmm. So tragic. Show enough. Oh boy. Oh, dude. God. I guess it is the most consistent and purest love he has experienced, yeah. aside from maybe that of his wife. Oh, he learned some of the keys. Wait for me. Wait for me. I'll be coming. Oh, wow. Wait for me. Sure. My love. Oh, is that the Are we in real footage now? Uh, yeah. I was a child, ladies and gentlemen. I was a dreamer. I read comic books and I was the hero of the comic book. Oh, sure. So every dream that I ever dreamed has come true a hundred times. Hmm. Wow. Damn. I learned very early in life that without a song, the day would never end. Without a song, a man ain't got a friend. Yeah. But without a song, the world would never bend. Without hmm. a song. So I'll keep singing a song. Yes. <laughs> Yes, sir. Ooh. Yeah. Damn. Wow, man. Oh, my God. Damn, and how he must have been feeling, too, in that moment to still put on a show like that. Jesus. Because he did not look like he was in adequate shape to be performing. No, it's only by the virtue of the fact that his body's like so, so, so steeped in that muscle memory. Yeah. And it's probably like the one spark of inspiration he has at this point to get through that day. Like without the song, <laughs> where would the day go? Whoa. Oh, interesting Last choice. Point. Colonel Parker's financial abuse of Elvis was finally exposed in a series of lawsuits beginning a few years after, of course. Of course. As a citizen. Parker tried to claim immunity as a citizen of no country, but eventually settled out of court, ending his ties to the Presley estate. How much was that settlement? Colonel spent his final years in poor health, wandering through Vegas casino. Good. Yeah, that was in the wraparound. Full circle. Best-selling solo recording house of all time. Damn. I believe it. And it shall forever and ever. Damn, Michael Jackson like didn't outsell him? Damn, 1977. 35 to 77. Baz. Baz, boy. 
Damn. Yeah. Screenplay by a whole bunch of people. Yeah, right? Took a village. <laughs> wow. um, by the way, if you are listening to us on Apple or Spotify, if you do not mind giving us a rating, we would so appreciate it. And I know the legend of Elvis would also appreciate it. The legend uh, of El- Elvis' yes, ghost really yes, cares he, about he, our He <laughs> does. Our he Spotify does. Spotify really yes, cares he, about he, our, he, he about does, our he Spotify does. rating. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. I've literally just finished a therapy session and I wanted to shoot this because I'm in this state of of knowing why I champion mental health support so much. In the past few weeks, work's been a little bit hectic. It's led me to miss some sessions and I really don't like doing that. And sometimes that's when the weight really starts to pile on. A lot of restless nights, a lot of fatigue, a lot of I can't sleep even though I'm so tired. And sometimes just a very deep-seated sense of gloom. And meditating and sometimes journaling are my daily go-tos. But sometimes they just don't cut it when I'm trying to pinpoint why I'm down. And really, especially after a session like today, therapy just really helps clear the fog. Discussing the feelings is a critical step for me, especially as someone who's diagnosed with ADHD, type to bipolar and PTSD, it's truly a cornerstone of my well-being. And I'm not alone in this. Many of us here at Real Rejects are in therapy, facing our own challenges from depression to anxiety, or just needing a non-judgmental space to voice our thoughts. This year, I've been working on most days of the week to keep my physical health strong, and I really do champion therapy as a way to strengthen my mental resilience. And for many, BetterHelp is integral to that process. There's real value in BetterHelp's accessible and adaptable service. They match you with a licensed therapist and provide the option to switch if necessary, ensuring the right fit for your mental health journey. As this year winds down, down and we confront life's complexities, do consider BetterHelp as a resource. Really happy to be partnered with them this month, so you can go to betterhelp.com slash real rejects for 10% off your first month. Again, that's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash real rejects. So join us in moving forward stronger together. Thank you again. Thank you to Shopify for sponsoring, which is what we use for our merch store and is our game-changing partner in e-commerce. You don't need to be tech savvy to understand. It allows individuals and businesses to create and manage online stores, offering tools for sales, payments, marketing, and inventory management. It's worth trying out because of its user-friendly interface, extensive customization options, comprehensive suite of features that cater to businesses of all sizes. Their checkout system unmatched. It's 36% more effective at converting visitors into buyers than other platforms. And let's not forget Shopify Magic, the AI tool that elevates your business with minimal effort. But seriously, reflecting on our journey using Shopify for www.rejectnationshop.com, it's been transformative. The transition, smooth, growth, expert Exponential. Thank you again, Reject Nation. From simplifying sales to scaling our offerings, Shopify has been a cornerstone of our success. And Shopify isn't just for us. It powers 10% of U.S. e-commerce, backing businesses big and small in over 175 countries. Their award-winning support, always there to guide you. So ready to join the revolution? Sign up for Shopify at only a dollar a month at shopify.com slash rejects. All lowercase, shopify.com slash rejects. Start your Shopify success story now. Let's grow together with Shopify, team. I must say, like, first and foremost, I think this is the obvious thing to say. Austin Butler was... Oh, yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> Sucked, dude. Awful I hated per- the performance. Awful performance. He is not convincing it's at just all. just like a Elvis. caricature, I just a bad kept, impression. I kept on seeing Austin the whole time. I could not see... El- he was he was phenomenal. I, I yeah, really like. Nah, I mean, yeah. you could tell how much he seeped into this performance. I mean, uh, not to get into a compare game, but like I would say, I would put him on the level of. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen the movie, but the film The Doors with uh, Val Kilmer. Sure. Uh, he, I mean, Val Kilmer like just took it to another level in that film, and I would say same thing with Austin Butler in this film. Like, I mean, he. He's Elvis. <laughs> uh, he's just phenomenal. And I love the journey we go through with this character. You know, just from, and again, it took me a little bit at the beginning, just the style of editing and the nonlinear storytelling. But once the film, uh, once we got a little more into the film, I was like, okay, I'm a little more on board here. Um, Because Buzz Larman, I mean, to his credit, he's got a specific style of how he likes to make films, which again, uh, let's see, Richard Roxburgh. Uh, He's got a specific style, like how he likes to make films. And again, I respect that. I want all filmmakers to make films the way they want to, you know, um, not to be beholden to, you know, studios. We don't want them to be like what happened to Elvis uh, here, uh, you know, how he was uh, unfortunately. And, you know, it's interesting, too, because I didn't know. And I know people are going to be like, how do you not know this? I'm sorry. I'm call me ignorant or whatever. I just knew who Elvis was. I just knew how great his songs are. I didn't know any of this. Colonel Parker, I had no idea any of this stuff. So like, I mean, I was grateful to find out about all this. Although also too, like that sucks. Like, I mean, and that's like, that's, that can be the horrors of humanity too, of just like people using you for personal and financial gain. And it was awful. And obviously there were times like, you know, the, the, Oh, I thought we were. Oh, is this Shazam? What's going on here? 
Oh. Oh, it's just the logo? Sure. Um, I mean, there were times, obviously, where, like, you know, the colonel did help him in terms of financial gain and all, but overall, like, he was using him, and it was awful how he used him. And obviously, like, you know, that's a big part of, like, you know, just what let out of his heart and just, like, he didn't give a damn about him. He just, what he brought to the table is all he gave a damn about. And, you know, I just, um, what I loved, too, about Elvis was just, like, you know, he he was a good person at heart and, like, you know, he didn't see color in terms of, like, when there was su such racial divide, the, the, when there was such racial divides in the country and all that. And, like, and also, too, because he grew up at it, you know, uh, in the neighborhoods. Uh, and um, I appreciated that. And um, I love that, like, at the end of the day, like, his soul and his life was music. And that's what he could come back to at the end of the day. And that's where he spoke his soul and his voice through. And I love that. I thought that was just such a beautiful message to carry through. I got more to say, but John, what do you got to say about the film? <laughs> yeah, man, I agree. Uh, I mean, absolutely. This movie, when it was first coming out and everything, and they were dropping trailers, like that was the first I had ever heard about Colonel Tom Parker uh, in any yeah, like I, I only knew the the bare basics about Elvis's story in general. You know, I've seen a couple of his old movies on Turner Classics or whatever. I've heard some of his biggest songs, but I don't have any deep cut knowledge of his catalog. I don't have any knowledge of his history, really. So this, in a lot of ways, is a big primer. And there are a lot of Elvis movies this made me curious to, to check out. Me too. Um, and, and yeah, I mean, I think it's... It's an interesting story they draw here because obviously Tom Parker is the Salieri presented in this, you know, iteration. Mm. And uh, and and I think there is something interesting to that. Like, yes, I, I think it certainly seems that he was an opportunist and he was a bit of a of a huckster. But um, at the same time, I don't know, like it's it's a fascinating little thing to ponder, because, again, I don't. Again, I like I'm going to have to go look at footage of the actual guy and kind of, you know, read further into that because mm -hmm. it's one of those things where I believe that there is some kind of like affection there or something, but it is tainted by the leverage and the greed and the that snow business that he keeps on talking about. Like, I think there is a part, at least as illustrated by this of Tom Parker that does, you know, kind of crave some kind of love and, and admiration and gratitude for what he's able to do. And like, it poses the question of what would Elvis's career become if he hadn't had Tom Parker, if he had other people, if he was making his own decisions, if it, like, this is so many, it's one of those fascinating chronicles of like so many points of no return where, you know, if he had just left and, you know, started working with these other people at this time solely or if he had taken full control of this, at, you know, this time solely, what would that have looked like? So I think it's a, it's a very fascinating portrait here. And yeah, Elvis does get a lot of criticism in culture for being a culture vulture, as they say. And that's something that I also don't know a, a heap ton about. And I think the movie here, you know, like that's something that I, I still would like to, you know, uh, examine some kind of deep dive into compiled by somebody who obviously, you know, has researched this fully. I like that the movie at least acknowledges. And like, I didn't know at all that he grew up in like a, a black neighborhood and, and, you know, like they were, you know, poor enough, his family that they had to move out of, you know, white society into black society. And, and that certainly to me speaks to a greater authenticity in terms of where that inspiration comes from, because there's a lot of appropriation in rock and roll music and, and a whole bunch of, you know, other styles of popular music that is stemming from the blues and gospel and soul and, and rhythm, rhythm and blues and all sorts of other things, a lot of black music jazz. and, and jazz definitely. And, you know, I thought they did a nice job of at least acknowledging that that's part of his roots. Uh, you know, I think it would have been interesting to spend more time with some of those. Like we, we've spent a little with BB King. We see sister Rosetta Tharp a few times, but like to actually spend some intimate time with them would have been interesting. And I think, you know, they, they do at least touch on the idea that, you know, here and there he does sort of directly acknowledge the culture that inspired him. But I think there are also arguments on the other side that he could have probably done a whole bunch more in that respect, you yeah. know, to really elevate those musicians and to aid in the pursuit of civil rights. Uh, so, like, in that sense, I feel like the movie is is a bit 
glossed or a bit vague. It's just it's not doing that stuff so much. It's not about yeah. the the uh, uh, racial, cultural, socio impact of Elvis so much as it is. Yeah, about the rise, the fall, the life, the times, and as such. Uh, yeah, I thought this was fascinating, and it definitely smoothed out as it went along because. I think Baz Luhrmann, the more we go, like I like Baz Luhrmann's style generally, but you know, as time goes, he definitely has a unique and very sort of breakneck kind of style about him. Uh, the way shots are cut and uh, composed and just like these swooping camera angles yes, and yes. like the immense glitz, glamour and opulence of everything. And I think that easily suits this person, this character, this figure in history um, and yeah, like as a movie, like when we first started, cause Baz Luhrmann is almost like, uh, Wes Anderson to me in that, like their style is so particular and specific that it can easily fall into parody if it's not careful. And at the beginning I was like, Whoa, we are fucking rocking, <laughs> rocketing through this. Yeah. 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 And, it, was, uh, it was hard for me. Like yeah, this movie that, is on coke right now. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, and and, and and I thought as it went along, and especially as you get into Act Two, it started to have Sweet. actual scenes and and breathe uh, appropriately in counterbalance to its sense of kineticism and its sense of glitz and all that totally. stuff. Yeah, no, I feel you. Um, you know, you asked, you brought up an interesting point. Uh, you know, about if Colonel Parker had never come into his life. You know how how would it all have unfolded, and we still did see that he kind of, he really had a spending problem. You know, like with the, the pills and the women and all that, and the entourage that he yeah. took care of. So I still think that would have been an issue because I think you know as and not to get too much off topic, but like I think like a big thing in our education system that would help is like having a financial understanding of how we should you know oh take my care God. of our our, <laughs> our, our, our our money. But we um, spend so much time in school on stuff that it's not we important. ought to at least trade a little bit of that time yeah, for yeah. like the basics of how right. to get by in society. Right, of course. <laughs> yeah. But so I mean but you know from uh, but I think you did pose an interesting question, like how would his career have turned out? But it would have been nice that if he would have had like a manager that really gave it like I, I know you said it was kind of like, um, you know, he did get a care about him, but it was more opportunist type of like, well, you know, it seems like he wants a son. Um, like he seems yeah. like a lonely guy who yes. again is like divorced. He has no country. Yeah. He has a dubious pace. Kind of like Tommy Wiseau. I, was, <laughs> I swear really quick before you go on. I swear as a joke. And I was like, I don't know if this is appropriate to say. I was going to say no, he's, Tom, he's Tommy Wiseau. I he's, was going to say it like two or three times during the film because he's got no identity, <laughs> but I'm sorry. Continue on. He's got no identity. He's got like the, the mystery sort of like Eastern European, but like from everywhere kind of accent. And and that's another thing is, uh, yes. is I've heard a lot of criticism about Tom Hanks's performance. Sorry, I'm doing my Elvis costume. Yeah, my dad right did not like his performance. He actually told me uh, uh, yesterday when I told him we were going to react to this. Yeah. Is and it? that's, I think, a, a common thing I hear about this movie is that what were they thinking with Tom Hanks in this crazy makeup and and this it feels like the most caricatured aspect and i don't i don't completely disagree mm -hmm. but i actually i, I was he, he blended him. more i was less distracted by him than i expected to be it yeah. felt less of a meme yeah. than i expected it to <laughs> and i think the height of baz Luhrmann's style helps the performance along and yeah. i think a lot of the makeups are pretty good you know the the most obvious one is is in the wrap around when he's in the you know casino palace of the mind reflecting on all this stuff but yeah like he's a guy with no ties to anywhere and in a certain way i feel like he's living a unique american dream of this place and time where he's not even like on the record but he's traveling around he knows showbiz he yeah. knows how to hustle and you know it growing from the carnival into yeah, like there's certainly tons of exploitation and conniving, but I think the tragedy and the interesting thing is that you do get to sit there and wonder, you know, and I think posing him as the unreliable narrator is an interesting choice because, yeah, I'm sure that a lot was, of people yeah. do directly, as he says, you know, blame him for all of this. And I think what they're getting at in the ending monologue there is kind of that all of it, it you know, in life, it's probably all these factors are, you know, contributing. And I, yeah, think that 
Tom Parker, especially with the debts, especially with like trapping him in this residency and, and, you know, not only assuage debts, but unlimited lines of credit. Like there's definitely exploitation, but I also get the sense or at least from how this movie's playing everything that he does want to be a father figure to like he seems to get something whether it's like genuine Mm -hmm. i think he thinks it's genuine that he wants this father son and and you trust me like i protect you i provide for the both of us you trust me more than anybody and i'm just here to empower your talent and there are yeah bits and pieces of that that feel authentic even though the whole thing is yeah yeah to your point like after uh elvis's mother passed away when he spoke to him and the way he spoke to him in the uh the closet i mean like the dad even said like richard roxburgh his actual dad said i can't talk you gotta talk to him like he trusts you more than he trusts me so yeah and so much of your life has been in business has been in performance has been on stage like like tom parker colonel parker the admiral whatever you want to call him (laughs) Is yeah. in a better position yeah. to guide and mentor and understand this kid than his actual father is. Right, right. Yeah. And also, too, he was also able to, you know, manipulate him at, at, at any which way. I mean, every time Elvis thought that he finally was able to get rid of him, he's like, okay, I'm going to tell him at the hospital. All right. All right. And now I'm going to just show him up at the International. I'm done with this guy. <laughs> You get the, you know, you, for, well, after he was done at the hospital, then he comes up with the deal at the International. And when he was done with him at the International, then he gives him the $8.5 million yeah. thing. It's like this, he could not get rid of this guy. He was literally a parasite for him. Um, so, yeah, yeah, it was, and again, I don't know how exact, because obviously we know in films, like even when it's a biopic, there's going to be certain things that they there's Hollywoodize. Gonna be, there's um, going to be truncation. Yeah, of and, course. So I don't know exactly how accurate this is, but if. It's pretty accurate. It's, it's interesting and crazy at the at the same time. But it compels you to want to go out and learn more. Oh, and, for sure. And I appreciate of all the biopics I've seen recently. I mean, yeah, there there is structure certainly, but I wasn't. And I know I made a good amount of walk hard jokes, but I, I wasn't too distract. Like it's hard to make a biopic in a post walk hard world because, especially music biopic like walk hard, just. <sighs> just left no stone unturned and so i think Fair nowadays enough. especially you have to almost run yourself like like i remember the russo brothers said that thing about like we try to make our marvel movies honest trailer proof i feel like for <laughs> a biopic you have to make your movie walk hard proof and right. and you know I, i'm not gonna say that this fully reinvents the wheel but this did sweep me up into its atmosphere and its world and i thought that baz lerman was a solid choice for this figure and the aesthetics that you know he would eventually embody especially as he gets to las vegas yeah and and yeah i think the cast across the board did a great job the costumes are terrific uh the way they transport you back in time yes. the blending of you know stock photos and stock footage with you know what is being recreated on screen and all that stuff i thought that was nicely chosen and yeah like again austin butler as far as yeah as far as these kinds of performances go you know it's such a towering thing and it got so much praise and and recognition but i i do feel like watching this i forgot i was i didn't fully forget because obviously you're aware that you're watching a, a historical thing but like there were times when i wasn't focused on or or even thinking about how this translates as uh, an impression or impersonation. It's just, yeah, just, I, I lost myself in watching the character, and I think that's a good thing, and I think that's what you need in a, in a role like this, and I think this is a particular... Like, I think there are two paths of difficulty when it comes to portraying a real-life figure, and it's like you have certain figures that are very subtle in their mannerisms, and that's hard n- to nail down. Yeah. And then you have other characters who are very specific in their voice and mannerisms, such as Elvis, yeah. and I think he he towed the line really nicely of like, you got to sound like him. You can't do one of those things where it's like, you know, a, 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 a spiritual portrayal rather than like a direct portrayal. So like, yeah, I, I thought that was nicely handled and, and, and also, I would be curious to hear Tom Parker, like receive footage of him just oh, to yeah, see yeah. what the representation is there. Cause that's the thing about this movie. I think is you have this weird yin and yang of like, you have such an immersive portrayal of one historical figure and then one performance that again, saved for me largely by just, I don't know, Tom Hanks's natural charisma and the, you know, overwhelming nature of the style of the movie. But at the same time, yeah, it's this really real natural performance 
pitted against this like off the wall almost like it, it is like more of a cartoon than anything else and you have yeah this huge makeup and you're so aware that's the funny thing is like I lost Austin Butler a lot of the time yes whereas Tom Hanks you're kind of always aware of like it's Tom Hanks. It's Tom Hanks with his makeup. Nose <laughs> and I don't know if this is the guy, like, in the moment I'm sitting here going, well, you know, he's, we don't know exactly where he's from. They say his actual name at one point, you know, clearly yeah. he's, he's from elsewhere in the world and trying to make it in the American dream. And so I could see how whatever his natural accent would have been would be, uh, sanded down and maybe intentionally so to appear more all American or whatever. So like, I'm a jury's out in terms of that aspect because yeah, like yeah. if we were to hear real footage and be like, well, damn, the voice is nothing like that, then, you know, I would have more reservation. Right. I mean, then I have never heard real footage of the real Colonel Parker. So I had nothing to judge it or base it off like you. Yeah. I think when my when I spoke to my dad yesterday, he, like he he knows the history. He knows Elvis very well in terms of, again, the history. And he has heard Colonel Parker. So I think when he watched the movie, that's that's where the uh, criticism came from when he said, because obviously my dad is it's like I get, loves it's Tom so, Hanks. So. It's so weird because, yeah, I didn't hate the performance and it didn't, didn't wreck the movie either. for me, but I, me I that much. couldn't really argue anybody out of those feelings. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. It's understand. Like, I, I totally understand the criticisms, but again, having not heard colonel parker for not knowing him or like, it was less yeah it, without that context yeah, it was yeah, less distracting exactly, than i exactly. thought it would be based yes. on what i'd heard yeah. and two uh sorry i, I know we, we going all over the place but i also liked and this is something baz does and i think it riles people or, or people object to it a bit more in situations like this when it is a period piece or it's directly historical but i did appreciate the music flourishes both in how they incorporated elvis's music between the songs you really know the songs that were re-recorded from other artists mm -hmm. And the songs that are just in his deep cuts catalog, but also the way that they would mix in in true Baz Luhrmann fashion, modern music flourishes at times or score elements at times, taking certain songs that, you know, for being one mood and then adding score elements. So they're a bit uneasy or a bit more tense uh, to draw out that irony or, you know, needle dropping in and kind of mashing up like I think there's like a Doja Cat needle drop at some point in there. Um, you know, there, and, and that is something I could see people being pulled out by, but, but in that particular scene when he's, again, I think he's like going back to, uh, the part of town where he sees BB King and all that stuff. And, and, you know, the people are out in the streets and there's a vibrance and there's a livelihood. Yeah. And I think using modern touches like that, actually I can, I get why people object to it and I still couldn't fully argue you out of it, but I think in a situation like this, or, or I'd be curious to go back and look at the, his great Gatsby, mm. um, because like, yeah, when the modern music touches come in, I thought they enhanced a mood and did a nice kind of tangential thing of like, this is sort of the vibe of now as it would have been then, or right. here's the vibe then and here's something to kind of give you a touchstone or, or evoke how it might be now with some, you know, current popular music or whatever. Yeah, it did take me a moment to like catch up. I'm like, oh, we're contemporary music here. Yeah, you hear some trap the, beats and you're yeah, like, what's yeah. going on yeah. here? But also, yeah, yeah. you know, again, in the mood of that, I was like, but I kind of yeah. get it. And I yeah, kind of no, like no, no, it. For yeah. sure, for sure. But uh, yeah, no, and again, last thing, uh, I just again, I, I thought Austin Butler, great job. I, I love that he was also able to embrace not only the sounding like Elvis, but the way he moved, just really like uh, showing the beautiful side of Elvis and also the tragic side. Just really appreciated his wonderful performance. Um, do you have any final thoughts you want to say? Good golly, this was so much of a movie. If yeah. We, if we forgot anything, let us we'll know. just go in the comments and yes. write an essay for yes, you. Yes, exactly. But uh, let us know in the comments section. What did you think of this film? Uh, I don't know how many other Buzz Larman films you have seen. I have not seen too many. I've seen Romeo and Juliet. Now I've seen this one. I can't think of uh, anything else. I've, uh, I guess I've seen the ending of Moulin Rouge. That have counts. I seen? I know but, I've seen Moulin Rouge. That's um, the one I, I have not seen. Australia, but if there's any other Buzz Australia, baby, yeah. they're back. Oh. Friggin' Nicole Kidman and, oh, and, uh, and Hugh, Jackman. Hugh Jackman are back and, in Australia. And I have not also seen Great Gatsby. So uh, if there are any Buzz Larman films that you'd like, John, myself, anyone on the the rest of the real reject team to react to or any other films let us know in the comment section what you think of this film what you think of austin butler's performance and more importantly tom hanks performance <laughs> we'd love to hear from you guys and until then john and i have left the building oh hey thank you very much <laughs>
Thank you very much. Andrew Hayes. I make this joke often about <laughs> how you probably just left your card on file and haven't checked. I don't think it's a joke, man. I think it's probably real. You are non-existent in our lives. Never Ex- sign up for Rocket Money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> don't find out that you still have the subscription. They've been giving our Patreon money to these guys for so long, and they've been saying the same shit every single month about how my card's been on file, and they haven't bothered to notify me. It's only happening until you speak out and let us know. That you got to demand a better grade of joke. Oh, man, I I don't know where I have no idea of uh, at all of your whereabouts. You could be dead for you all I know. It. Off the grid, you could be dead. You could be like living in a seminary somewhere as a monk. They say ignorance is bliss. So as long as your family does not notify us, we will gladly keep accepting the Patreon pledge every single month. Because I just imagine that you're out on an island somewhere, like, you know, kicking back, sipping some umbrella drink. Money is no object to you, and this is just a drop in the bucket that you use as a tax write-off. That's exactly what I'm thinking. I think it's just a write-off. Yeah. Somehow you're able to write off this pledge like a charity donation. Sure, yeah. Well, you know, he's made YouTube videos before, so that means we're in a similar lane, and thus this is supporting his industry by contributing. You know? I hope so. Yeah. So at this point, man, make it work for you. Something's something's up. I have no idea where you where you've been. Mm. One of us definitely didn't steal your identity. You know, remember when we met him? And he was like, like he said he was short, but he was like really short. Mm-hmm. You know, like oh, you didn't actually prepare me for how short <laughs> you were gonna be. I spent twenty minutes just yelling his name and not seeing where he was going <laughs> yeah. back from until I finally realized. I thought that you were lost in the woods when you were <laughs> responding to me from my knees. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what is the spirit who speaks yeah. to me now? <laughs> there was a haunting happening. Yeah. And I met your mom and, and I was like, Oh, she's just as tall as him. So I was like, oh, Okay, that makes sense. But is your dad also really small? I'm very curious. I thought about that. I haven't I asked you. Maybe his dad is like really really tall maybe he's like six foot ten well it's like you know they're locksmiths and i imagine that he's probably good at like picking locks and figuring it out because it meets his eye line sure <laughs> definitely <laughs> it's that it's definitely just, that he gets the best view yeah you know, he's just, he's, he's, you're t- you're cut out for this work eyes is right there you are made for this Say, I don't even know if we've offended you because you probably have no idea you've gotten this shout out and then watch andrew now has grown like a whole foot and a half and like has put on like tons and tons of muscle. Yeah. And then he could like beat the shit out of us now. He probably just sits there working out in like that giant room of like his like office chair and like 45 computers. Yes. What is just playing his shout outs. He's just collecting oh. shout outs. Call me short one more time. <laughs> Say the thing about my card being on file and me forgetting one more time. <laughs> Yeah. In all seriousness, though, um, I hope you're well, and I hope you never unpledge. Even if we shut down this page, you're on. I hope somehow, <laughs> I hope somehow you find a way to stick around. <laughs> we love you. You're, you're a part of the year. fabric of this. Happy New Year, buddy. <laughs>